I'm a first generation American. My mother was from Cork City. I grew up in an Irish household. It just wasn't in Ireland. My name is Ed Chevlin. I'm a second year master's student here at Glucksman Ireland House. I came into this program in my 21st year as a New York City sanitation man. I had been working on my undergraduate for five or six years at that point and I knew that I wanted to go on to graduate studies. So I came to an open house here at Glucksman and I was very surprised to be so well received. And I can tell you that I love every minute that I spend here at Glucksman. Um, the teachers are fabulous. They all seem to become your friends. My fellow students are also very friendly. And surprisingly enough, I learn nearly as much from my fellow students as I do from my teachers. So all the work I do here is part of a labor of love and I'm actually delighted every time I have to come to class. I think Irish studies are very important because if you look at how tiny little Ireland is and then look out to the wider world, you'll find that that tiny little country has had an enormous impact on the world, far out of proportion to her size. So that in itself is worth studying. And I think that when you study Irish studies in a place like Glucksman Island House here in New York City, you really get a sense for the impact that the Irish em immigrants have had on our country. One of the things about New York University that I found so intriguing was the fact that there are opportunities at the university beyond those that exist at Glucksman Island House. Uh, one of those was um, a fellowship in global human rights that was being offered by uh, the Gallatin School of Individualized Study. I applied for the fellowship and I was granted the fellowship to do human rights work with the Pat Finucane Center in the north of Ireland over the summer of 2015. I spent the summer living in Belfast and doing research in the Belfast newspaper archive. I was researching the, ju the justice system in the north of Ireland um, with an eye towards finding out whether or not it was even handed in regard to the two different communities that live there, the, the Loyalist Unionist community and the Nationalist Republican community. And now my research continues into the same project. So it's, um, it's something that just doesn't go away. It's become a part of my life and I'm very grateful for that. Glucksman Island House is a big time player in the Irish and Irish American community here in the city of New York. There are concerts here, there are readings here. If you're an author with a book that you need launched and it has something to do with Irish studies, whether it be drama or history or language, this is the place you want to launch from. There's something for everybody here and I would encourage everyone to come visit the house, come to some of our open houses, come to some of our events on Thursday nights or even on the weekends, and you won't be disappointed. And more importantly, come here and be a student. Come here and be enriched by the fabulous programs, by the world-renowned educators and all of the other great resources that Glucksman Island House has to offer. Some of you who are looking at this video right now may be thinking, I can't go back to school. I did my undergraduate degree 20 years ago or even 30 years ago. Well, I can tell you, I'm 55 years old and I don't come from a background of academia. I've been putting garbage in the back of a truck for the last 22 years. And in my 21st year as a sanitation worker, I decided it was time for me to go get my graduate degree. And here I am. I was a little, intimidated by the whole thing. Um, I didn't think that I would really have what it takes to succeed here at Glucksman Island House, NYU, but I was fooling myself. I would say to people that they should push those doubts aside because it's a very welcoming atmosphere here. Uh, you're gonna really enjoy your fellow students and all the instructors, and I just love it so much that uh, even though I'll be graduating in the spring, I'd rather just stay and do another two years. So I would say come to Glucksman Island House and, and realize your potential. If my mom was still around, I'd have her sign my report card. <laughs> so it's really a, a great place. It's very enriching. And for me, it represents a rebirth. It's, my, it's me reinventing myself, going off in a new direction. My studies here at Glucksman Island House have helped me develop 
into a more confident and capable academic, and I intend to go on to teach. So if you're a little long in the tooth, take a page out of my book, come to an open house, listen to what's being said, have a cup of tea, they have Barry's in the kitchen all the time, and enjoy the other people here. Just come with an open mind, and I assure you that if you come here with an open heart and an open mind, you'll feel like this is the place for you.